guys. I wanted to talk to you briefly about praying and staying. Pray and stay. Pray and stay. A friend of mine, a sister friend of mine called me. She called me yesterday and she had some stuff on her mind and she wanted my opinion about something that was um, a very sensitive uh, topic. And I listened to her with an open heart um, and a non-judgmental spirit. And I gave her my opinion and my advice regarding the situation. And as we were talking, what came to my spirit was pray and stay. Pray and stay. And as I was talking to her and we were ending the call, I said, pray and stay. Pray and stay. And I said, I'm going to, my next YouTube episode, I'm going to briefly discuss pray and stay. Um, if you're watching, thank you. Thank you for giving me a call. And thank you for trusting me with my opinion to help you out in that situation. And I hope that um, everything worked out for the best for you. So we want to pray and stay. God does not force us to make decisions. God doesn't force us to make decisions in our lives. God gives us the option to choose. We get the option to choose on what decision we are going to make. And we pray that the decisions that we make are the best decisions possible regarding that particular subject and that particular situation at hand. So we want to pray pray because we want to take our issues and our problems to Christ. We want to take them to Christ and let him know that we are calling on him for his help. And we want to stay. We want to stay grounded, grounded in the foundation of God. So if we put our trust in God and we know and have faith that he is never going to let us down and he is going to guide us in the right direction, whatever that decision is, no matter how big or how small that decision may be or how uh, difficult of a decision it is for you to make in your life, you and I, you and I want to make sure that we pray and stay. We also go to our friends and loved ones who we trust, who we entrust, who we um, respect their opinions and we value their opinions because guess what? If you don't share your testimony, I say this often on our ladies prayer line at our church. If we don't share our testimony with others, how can we help someone? How can we help the next person who may be going through something? If our life obstacles and our life experiences, we just hold in and hold inside. You don't have to tell, I say it all the time, you don't have to tell all of your business, but share some of your experiences on how you got through that situation because you can be helping, you can be an angel, you can help someone else who is going through that very difficult situation and may help them overcome the situation without headed in a um in a in the wrong direction. My grandfather he always says if I see a Mack truck coming down the street, I'ma tell you it's coming so you can jump out the way. And I try to use that um, example often. You may not like the opinion. You may not like the opinion or the advice that your friend or your loved one or your church member is giving you. But just know that it's coming from a place of love. Because if they did not care, as my grandfather says, if they did not care, if I didn't care, I wouldn't give you my advice, my opinion. I wouldn't say anything. I would let that Mack truck come down the street without saying a word. But as Christians, we are to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So pray and stay. Have a steadfast mind. Be strong and confident in your decisions that you make in your life. If you have trouble making a decision, just know you are not alone. And there's someone that you know, more than likely, there's someone that you know that has been in the same situation or a similar situation. Thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to pop on here. Excuse me for the blooper. I just wanted to pop on here on my YouTube channel. Pop in and say, pray and stay. Remember to hug the ones you love. Hug them. Hug the ones you love. Tomorrow's not promised to any of us. I pray that your families are well. I pray for longevity for everyone on this, um, on my YouTube channel, all my viewers. And also... Remember, um, these videos are not practiced nor rehearsed. What you see is what you get. I say that often. I love you even if I don't know you. 
and always put God first and stand steadfast. Stay positive. God will always be by your side. Pray and stay. God bless. Bye.